I look like a blonde broomstick. So something I get asked all too often is, Joanna, do you still run? Can you film a workout? Why did you stop? Did your legs hurt? Was it fun? You know I'm faster than you, right? Can you like my comment? So if you're new here, hi. You should leave. I used to run competitively before I did all of this. So it's been, I'm gonna say, about a year and a half since I even touched a track. This is a phenomenally stupid idea. And I thought today, let's go run a track workout together. I'm also gonna make a quick little footnote here. Part of the reason why I've been so hesitant to post this video is because the running community on YouTube, it's, you know, a little bit sort of low key toxic. <laughs> and I'm not saying that to be mean, there's videos on it, so you should probably go watch some of them. But if you're not running as fast as Usain Bolt or Mo Farah, they're dragging you by the jugular across the asphalt and glass. They're analyzing everything wrong with your technique. And while they're at it, here's a 10 slide presentation about why you'll never amount to anything in running and you should just quit. Hey, I'm gonna say something, you know, a little bit crazy and wild. Some of us have other things to do than work out for 16 hours a day. I'm far from being the best runner out there. I'm aware of that. I'm just trying to have some fun. Okay, dude? At the end of the day, you know, if you're here to poop all over a washed up, out of shape first year university student, go right on ahead. Just be aware that I might just pin your comment. Love you. I think it's also worth mentioning that this is like the fifth time we're trying to film this video. The first time we came here to this track, there was snow more than there is now. And then two days later, everything had frozen over. It was just like, two inches of ice. And then we came back here again yesterday and there was just like three inches of water on the track. It was just underwater. Like there were fish swimming around it. Not really, but anyways, you get what I mean. So we're here today on a, a track that my dad and I used to come when I was little. It's a dirt track, which means it's extremely slow because you're slipping all the time. It's a mess, but it's the only choice we have. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Exhibit A of why we shouldn't be doing this today. Someone want to go ice skating? My feet are going to get wet. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so the workout is four 400s and then we take, you know, a bit of a break and then we go into four 200s. Now for all of you plebs that don't run, let me explain what all of that jargon is. So the track is 400 meters in circumference. So we're gonna do four by one lap and then we'll take, I'd say like five minutes rest and then we'll go into four 200s, which is just four half laps. It's gonna be awful. Like I've accepted this already. I should not be doing this workout at all. <laughs> Ew, ew, ew. Why is there so much ice? Oh my God. One kiss is all it takes. Falling in love with me. Possibilities. I look like all you need. No, no, no! Ah! Did you guys hear about the coronary virus? There's been like two confirmed cases of the Toyota Corolla virus. I hope you dudes are staying healthy. The bats really be on some stuff. <laughs> Yesterday we went to the allergist and she did some tests, you know, she like scratched my arm with a bunch of things. And um, we got some really tragic news that I think everybody just needs to hear about. I'm allergic to dogs. No, this isn't okay. It's not okay. I, 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 no. I'm tired already. This is not a good sign. They're lined up at the start line, all eight of them. The referee puts his gun up. The crowd goes silent. You can hear a pin drop. No one's moving. The athletes, they crouch down. They get ready. The gun goes off. And Tyson Gay tackles Usain Bolt while Johan Blake laughs and Andre de Grease carries the camera. Okay, I need to stop messing around. Oh my God. This is gonna be a rough workout. I think I should also warn you guys that uh, there's gonna be swearing in this video. At this point, when I'm in this much pain, I'm sorry, but I really can't hold it back. So if there's any wholesome little families, uh, maybe earmuffs, you know, get them out of the room. This is the jankiest thing I've ever done. So we're about to start the workout. I've made the phenomenally stupid executive decision to wear spikes for the entire thing, mostly because it's really slippery. Now I know you don't need to drag me in the comments. My calves are gonna be destroyed tomorrow. I've accepted that. If you're wondering what the plastic wrap is for, 
okay? So we're at the start line. Things are about to get ugly, if you know what I mean. Well, I have my uh, hydro flask there for moral support. So I'm actually really sorry to report that this was the last time I saw my dear hydro flask. He ran away and I haven't been able to find him since this workout. If you do see him, please don't approach. He might bite you, but if he's listening out there, we miss you and please come home. Okay, back to the video. Uh, in terms of times, you probably already wondered, what am I gonna be hitting? The last time I did this workout, I was in grade nine, as I mentioned before, and I was hitting a minute 18 per lap. I am nowhere near as fit as I was in grade nine, even though it was like four years ago and I was this tall. If I can go like a 140, be careful. Here goes nothing. So the first 400 was about as much of a shock to my system as watching g Easy bump uglies with Megan the Stallion. I went into it a little bit too overzealous. I don't know why I was so excited for pain, but hey, whatever floats my boat. Something to mention is along the curves, there was a good one meter of ice on the inside. So I ended up running way on the outside, which meant I was running a lot more than 400 meters. So I just ended up tracking the distance on my GP. PS watch. I'm saying all this because I know there's going to be some 80 year old crossfitter dragging me to filth in the comment section because I'm stopping so early. Now let's talk about the pain. <laughs> Holy shizzle. What the furniture? That was a word. <laughs> no. Yeah, things were really not looking too good for me, needless to say. My palms were sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater. Mom's spaghetti. No, that's not okay. Uh uh. Party's over. <laughs> The worst part, actually the whole thing's like ass. The worst part is right there around that corner. You get slapped in the face by the winds of change. You're like running backwards. Oh my God. <laughs> I have a bone to pick with active recovery. What part of recovery is active? No. Things were hurting for another, I'd say 30 seconds before the two minutes of rest time were over. And it was time to pick myself up, fall back down again, freak out because it's almost time to run again, get distracted by the music blaring in my headphones and start running. The second lap was where things really got ugly. Maybe it was the realization that, yeah, this is happening. Or maybe it was just the fact that YouTubers are not athletes, but this one really hurt. I felt like I was running through water. My legs were barely coming up. Like, look at my knees. I'm essentially speed walking at this point. And it showed. I ended up running 10 seconds slower. <laughs> I guess you could say I was starting to approach the wall if the wall was also simultaneously running at me. Oh! We're halfway there! Number three came around and usually the third of anything hurts the most. It's like the awkward cousin of the quadfecta. It felt a lot like that scene in the Maze Runner where Thomas was running in the maze away from the grievers, absolutely struggling and disparaged. I felt like I was crawling. My legs were burning. I was about to stop. There was only one left, so I closed my teeth and grit my eyes and just ran. My legs, they didn't even exist anymore. It was just phantom pain. They might have fallen out of my back pocket. I don't know what happened. As if that wasn't enough, however, my microphone started to fall out while I was running. Yeah, you're really testing me now, aren't you, Jesus? But I finished the 400s. Special shout out to the mud all over my behind. You're the real MVP and quite the testament to my class. So we've just finished the 400s. Um, yeah, I'm really not feeling good, guys. <laughs> my butt is frozen. How does that even happen? You know how they say that you get a high when you work out. Yeah, well, I'm here to tell you that's a load of BS. The high is just relief that the workout's over. The second half of the torture party was about to begin. Was I ready? Did I want a bullet in my head? Do I like my body? All questions with the same answer. Holy shih tzu. What a Furby. Did I decide to do this? Oh my God, the acid is burning. Now, surprisingly, these weren't that bad. I mean, it was over as quickly as it started, so things definitely could have been worse. I tripped a lot. I mean, I was still breathing out of my stomach, but I got through it. The first one winded me. The second one knocked me down. The third one ran me over and the fourth one buried me. Can we also just take a moment to appreciate how tiny I look? I look like a solid three feet tall in this footage, but anyways, thankfully, as all things do, it came to an end. What did I learn? Well, I learned several things. One, my time on the track has well expired and it's starting to get moldy. Two, the Canadian winter is not the optimum time to run whatsoever. Obviously, unless you wanna live in an icicle for the rest of your life and three where there's smoke there's fire i'm done
I'm done. I'm done. Holy sushi. I'm done. I'm Mm-hmm. <clears throat>